And we're... What's the word I'm looking for? Oh, yes. Live. Hmm. Yes, you didn't think I was going to say that. <laughs> so, hello. Welcome. Welcome. Uh... Hmm. I suppose I could... Uh... Show you the schedule back there. Which says that we're going to do Train Simulator now. But you may not know that TS stands for Train Simulator. So... I'm just going to say it normally. Uh, we are going to play some train simulator, driving around uh, from 8 till 9. And then uh, after that, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. So, ooh, we build in the Milton Valley Railroad now? Um, no, unless my calendar is very wrong. Because my calendar says it's Thursday. And that's not on Thursdays. Uh, but hello, Kango Fango. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Right. So, I've already got it up and running, as you can probably hear in the background. The clacking and clicking of the train simulator main menu. Oh, then Twitch is lying to me. I don't know what you're talking about. I honestly don't. <coughs> yeah, I forgot that because I was... I honestly didn't think that I was going to make it on time, to start the, tr the stream on time, because I was watching Slovak's Eagle stream, which ended right uh, a couple minutes before I was supposed to start. Um, uh, but yes, we're here. Uh, I could screenshot it and then send it over, but it's not needed. Yes. <laughs> uh, hi, Slavic Eagle. Hello. Welcome. So, uh, Slavic Eagle actually made a session, a scenario, for... Uh, uh, for me or and Kango Fango. However, uh, he was unable to upload it, so what we're going to do instead is we're just going to drive a normal TGV. <coughs> One of the normal sessions. Oh boy. Why oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. Now. Hmm, this one is... Right, this one's the... No, that one's the night one. This one is... Oh, right, the, these below there. This, no, this one is the... One of the broken down train. Oh, I suppose. Right, I think I'm just gonna go for for this one. Um, hi, Shadows. I'm still sick, but I cannot watch for long. But I'll watch for a bit. Oh, hello, Anthony Sarson. I'm sure you'll get uh, better soon. Um, TGV. Yes. Oh, I thought you were going to play my other scenarios. Nope. I'm. I want to. I want to drive the high speed train. <laughs> Hello, hey, oh, right, so there we go, drive a high-speed TGV service from Marseille to Av Avignon, 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 I think that's what it's called, Avignon, hmm, may want to correct me on that pronunciation if you know better, so here we go, start. So how is everybody, I already know how you are, Anthony, because you've already said, uh, but how about the rest of you, yes. Yes, that's the right pronunciation. 99% sure. Good. Avignon. 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 Mm. Um, I'm good, thank you. Hey, hello, Mr. W. You haven't missed anything. I'm literally just loading into the route. I'm going to drive the high-speed TGV from Marseille to Avignon. Uh, I hope that's how it's pronounced. Um, in France. Uh, without pronouncing the N at the end. Yes. I just wanted to see what it would sound like, and it doesn't sound right. Five people watching. Hello, five people. Yeah, like that. I am assuming you wrote that when I pronounced it correctly. Should be loaded soon. There we go. And here we are. We get a nice... um Cinematic. 
Hmm, doesn't sound right at all in it. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit laggy in the yard here, simply because of the sheer amount of junctions and trains, but once we get out of the yard, it should be a lot smoother. So here we go, and this is our train. Uh, no, no, sorry. Uh, this is our train. <laughs> I like how they did that animation. Right, good morning, driver. Today you'll be driving this express passenger service from here to Avignon TGV. Open the doors to allow the passengers on board, then you are clear to depart. Right, so let's open the doors. And, I mean, this train just looks as though it's racing down the track, even when it's stationary, doesn't it? And we need lights. I mean, just look at this train. It was built from 1995 to 2012. And, uh, yes, you might expect for it to be quite fast. Because, well, it is quite fast. Yeah, this is the rear side of it. Um, yes. Now, this is the cab. You can see, it looks like you're piloting a spaceship. Right. <clears throat> so, we are on a zero gradient, which means that I can already put the brakes on release. They won't release until the doors are uh, closed, but that's fine. So, up in front here, this is the speed we're currently going. This is going to be for speed limits, which uh, will come up later once we enter the... Uh, virtual signaling area. This is the dial for cruise control, which this train does have cruise control. And over here we have the uh, air brakes. This train also has dynamic brakes, which we'll mostly use. Now, a funny thing with this train is that it has manually lapped brakes, which means with the lever you set the rate at which the brakes are applied or released. With most modern trains, you um, basically put the, le the lever to a certain uh, position and that is how much the train is braking. With this one you put the lever to a position to change how fast the brake is applied and released. Which is actually the way that steam locomotives do it, which is really interesting. Okay, All passengers are on board, proceed to Avignon TGV, calling at aix en provence provence tgv en route I'm not sure about that. Anyway. Uh, let me just read the chat for one second, and then we get started. Um, and me, TGV Duplex. Uh, Slavia Eagle, teacher, says student's name. Imagine if they had the, the intro text in all French. <laughs> well, not here, miss. Bullet train? Shad Ice, could you show us the map view? Um, I don't want to be late. Uh, not at the moment. Maybe when I'm stopped at the next station, <laughs> which is going to be quite well. Maybe when we're en route. Uh, en route. I guess, but technically only the Zero Series Stream Concern has the title. Hmm? Oh yeah, that. Right. Oops, speaking of virtual, anyone ever used a VR headset? Um, I'll answer that question in a bit. Be right back. Not me, have you? Alright, Miss W asks a question and runs off. <laughs> yeah, should I? I need to go. Okay, bye Anthony. Hope you get better soon. Right, brakes are released. Put it into forward gear, and here we go. By the way, it has a two-tone horn, listen to this. There we go. Our speed limit at the moment is 30 kilometers per hour. <coughs> and <coughs> as for the VR headset, I have um, I have put one on, this was quite a few years ago, at the uh, Painton Tech Jam. There was somebody there who was testing out some software for a VR headset, and I put it on for just for a few seconds. Um, it was really strange because it was there was a camera in the front which was filming um, the way the headset was looking, and then was rendering that on the screen. So. When I moved my head, my head, I basically saw everything as I normally would see it in 3D, but uh, it was on a delay, which was quite strange. So yes, just heading out of the yard. Too high up. There we go. So with this, the dynamic brake, which uses the uh, locomotive's traction motors to brake, so basi basically um, the... Uh, 
what's it called? The, the friction that, that's generated from driving uh, in the in the electric motors, it uses to break the locomotive. The the electricity that's generated through that, um, so that the dynamic brakes are more uh, effective the faster the train is going. Which means that I will be using the normal air brakes um, when the train is going a bit slowly. So here we are. You can hear the flanges screeching. This is, of course, an electric train. Um, yes. Mm. Uh, same here, okay, yes. Oh, that sounds quite disorientating. Um, I'm sure that if I had had it on for any prolonged period of time, yes, but it was actually just quite a quite strange experience, really. Um, at the bottom, by the way, you can see the yellow uh, squares on the bottom menu are speed limit changes. But those are only track speed limit changes, and in this, signals themselves uh, themselves have speed limit changes depending on what the track ahead will be like. So, um, actually, let me just quick save because it can crash. So yeah, um, which for for that we will need to refer to the in cap signaling, which is this bit. Uh, when a number is flashing, it will mean that the well, if it's if we are currently if we currently have that speed limit, uh, actually no. If if the number is flashing, it will mean the speed limit will go go down shortly, and then it will display the speed limit for the next uh, thing. For the actually, let me see. Oh, oh, hello, Kango Fango. Thank you for hosting with your one viewer. Um, yes. So, if it's solid, it means we're at that speed limit. If it's on the, it's it's a bit complicated. We'll see how it works. <laughs> Right. Ah, I see. Good. By the way, this also has in-cab lighting. You can turn on and off. Also the uh, HUD lighting. Some of the instrument lights, sorry. And we're about to speed up to uh, 60 miles... Uh, sorry, kilometers per hour. Now we've got a new speed limit of 60 kilometers per hour, which is displayed down over here on the HUD. Yeah, this train just accelerates at an incredible rate. I've, I've only got the throttle at 25% and you can see how fast we're climbing. I am now officially your host, Charadice. Um, kind of, yes. The speed limit is going to go up to 110 kilometers per hour soon. There we go. Now I can put it into full forward gear for a little bit at least. You can see we're already going quite fast. Um, yes. By the way, there is also a passenger view, so you can see what the passengers uh, see when they're riding this train. Quite nice. Uh, thanks. Hasn't it always been in full forward gear? No, it hasn't. Um, oh, you mean the... No, it, even if you mean the reverser, no it hasn't, because it started in neutral. Haha. <laughs> As opposed to neutral and reverse, yes. See? I knew what you meant. Back. Great. So, we're still under normal signaling. Um, the speed limit is up to 140 kilometers per hour, and we're quickly accelerating to that speed. Um, yes, there we go, we've reached it. Uh, you can see we're already quite fast. And by the way, Mr. W, there's also a passenger view with this train, so you can look at what this looks like um, for the passengers when they're traveling. Um, welcome back. Shadows has answered your question about VR. You've probably missed it. I'll answer it again. So I have worn a VR headset once, at the Paint and Tech Jam a few years back, 
Um, it was just because someone had brought it in, they were testing some software for it, and uh, I only wore it for a few moments, and it, there was a camera in front that was recording what the headset sees out front, and then it was uh, displaying that, so I was actually seeing as normal, only it was on a bit of a delay, which was quite an experience. Uh, as for VR headset, yes I have. My local museum was doing an exhibition with it and I tried it. I had to take my glasses off so it wasn't the best experience but it was still really weird. It took me a while to readjust back to reality. Interesting. Right. Uh, when we enter the uh, other system I believe we'll have to switch over the power mode of the train because the overhead wires are different. Oh yeah, me too. Hello, Swedar Gaming. We're traveling at 135 kilometers per hour. Which is good. Um, I see. What kind of VR experience was it, if I may? Oh, hi, Swedar. Uh, Sword of gaming, you have to sort of go, wow, okay, just give me a mo. <laughs> Yo, hiya. Right, so here we are. Already traveling quite quickly. Although this uh, machine can go uh, much faster than this, and we will, trust me. Right, the speed limit is about to go up. All right, this is where we need to lower the... Actually, are we already on the right mode? That's a bit strange, I thought... Hmm, maybe we don't, need to we don't need to switch off, we'll see. Um, right, so here the speed limit is going to increase to 160 and then straight to 230 uh, kilometers per hour. So now we're at 160. Ah, yes, and now the in-cab signaling has been activated and in fact we are already on the correct power system. A bit strange, I, th I thought that you need to switch that over, but apparently you don't. So, I have actually turned Bloom off, because some of these numbers you can't see with Bloom on. Um, uh, right. Hiya! Yeah, like a free roam thing, probably made f just for the exhibition itself. Heyo! Alright, what? We'll go even faster? Horror game plus VR equals... Scared. Regular service is at what? 180? Um, this is the TGV, so the regular, the maximum sp uh, service speed will go, will be going at, um, is 320 kilometers per hour. Um, I've got to be a bit careful now because we're approaching 230. Okay, this means that the speed limit is going to go down um, at the signal after the next signal. So I'm already starting to slow down a little bit. It'll probably go down to 170 actually. And by the way, with this new virtual signaling system that we're at at the moment, the signals actually don't display the aspect in the real world, they're just a little flag basically. You can see one coming up there shortly. Over there, you can see the little flag there. I'll re-chat soon. There we go. There are these flags, those are the signals. And yes, indeed, we're going to go down to 170 by the next signal. Or rather, now. I'm not sure, it's been a while. Right, now let's. it's time to enable cruise control. So you can see the yellow needle on the little dial is... Um, how fast we are aiming to go. The white one is the speed limit, so that's 160, 170. And let's put it to full throttle, which means that it will stop when it's at that uh, speed. Okay. Right, let me just save, and then I'll quickly read chat. Um, they do exist. Ah, yes, in cap beeping. <laughs> I know, I can't imagine a more fear-inducing sequence of words. <laughs> How about just horror without VR? I hate horror jump scares 
at the best of times, but that pulse VR just that plus VR just makes me fear for my sanity and my trousers. <laughs> Man, the only horror game I know without jumpscares is Darkwood, and that's a top-down perspective, not very useful. I think I'd play a horror game... I think I'd play a horror game first before trying it in with, it with VR. Alright, yeah, I'm not a fan of jumpscares either. Yeah, I meant just horror, not game, not VR. It's a shame, because some games are scary without them. The jumpscares is just like death thing. Like the death thing, hmm. I haven't tried, no. I meant like real life horror. With that, did you mean FNAF series? I haven't tried horror properly. Never going to. One of the big uh, culprits, yeah. Yep, me neither. Okay, so here we go. Uh, right? So the speed limit at the bottom says we can go uh, 230 kilometers per hour, but the in-cap signaling says we can go 170, so we'll pass this signal just here, and then we can see it should update. There we are. Now we are at this speed limit, yeah? Which means this is actually the correct speed limit. The other one that it says down here on the HUD is, ac is actually wrong. Um, so yes, this is the map, by the way. Uh, you can see this is the map. Okay, now the track speed is 170. So if it's green, it's a track speed. If it's not green, it's a temporary speed because of the signal. We're not stopping at the station, as you might have guessed. However, this station does have a really nice uh, interior as well. Right, so let me just do a nice flyby. Oh, what happened? Didn't it say go via? Uh, okay, well, I'll reload the save game in a second. I'll have to have another look at the thing. <laughs> uh, and the name itself... Um, not abbreviated, it doesn't sound scary either. You just imagine spending five nights at your friend's Freddy place. Wait, all the shared eyes. I never said me neither. Alright, lol. I wouldn't say so. Oh, yikes, you were supposed to stop there. But didn't it say go via that place? I thought it said go via. Uh, this was a session, right? Suppose, oh? Because why would you go through the station if the station is at the side? Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> I was distracted by chat, probably. Uh, yeah, that's the excuse. I mean, you did see I completed this scenario with a gold star, so... <laughs> Hopefully I can stop uh, in time from when I last saved. Should be fine. Shut as you missed. One of the messages of FNAF sound effect. Uh, one second. Uh, I didn't see it. I don't. I don't see the message. Sometimes the messages don't go through. One of the big culprits, uh, yeah. FNAF isn't a scary word, is it? Just sounds like sound effect. Um, don't know. Look at the objective. Oh yes, now. For some reason I thought it said go via. Hm. Well, that's interesting. So we had better start breaking. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, never mind then. Bingo! This message... This is the message, Shadows. Yeah. I thought I had read that the first time. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> By the way, isn't it interesting how the message before said that I didn't give the passengers enough time to board? As though I did actually intend for them to board, it just wasn't enough time. <laughs> hmm. Right. Now time to use the... Um, the air brakes a little bit. 170. Uh, 
right? This should bring us to a nice top. Maybe just a little bit more. Uh, pressure. Right, now open the doors. They actually do open. And yes, this is... Actually, I did want to show you the station from the inside because it's really interesting. Um, oh, actually, train, wait. Very interesting. Yes, I was wondering, uh, because I thought this was the session which we stopped here. For some reason, I just thought it said go via, not stop at. We just didn't look at it right. Yes, so you can see there is a staircase and uh, an elevator or a lift. Then there's this open bit where you can actually stand and look out on the tracks. There's actually a grill, uh, a grid there to stop you from falling. Um, and this is probably against wind, the glass here. Uh, yes, then there's this bit over here. And the elevator can take you down to here, which there's actually this little nice area, which is semi-roofed, and you can look out over the parking lot and scenery. Right? <clears throat> now let me read chat. Um, uh, are you coming a bit hot there? Are you coming a bit hot there? Hmm, bit, but I made it. I might have just heard you. Might have just no heard you. Jeez, I'm tired. Dog tried... Dog tired, I tell ye. <laughs> everyone, everyone, the train's coming. Get ready to jump on. <laughs> Lol. I'm not sure I heard Chad is reading it either. Maybe I didn't read it. Maybe I just saw it and then decided I couldn't read it at the moment because I had to pay attention here and then things happened. Um, he might not have, yeah. Whoosh, whoosh. And here you can see the beautiful vistas of the station's parking lot. Right. Now, let's continue. Release brakes. The cruise control is already set. Now let's continue. Oh wait, that's my train, quick! <laughs> yes. Here we are. Actually, a quick save again, because it might crash. <laughs> LMAO! -O. Okay, speed limit's gone up to 300, so let's increase the cruise control to 300. Which, by the way, the cruise control. Uh, to increase it is Y, hold Y on the keyboard, and decrease it is C. Um, I wonder what the green and red stripes on the side signify. The train leaves without the driver, lol. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it does have cruise control, so... <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe first class, second class? Um, YC, got it. Okay. You can see we're getting up some real speed here. By the way, um, look at where you are stopping next, Charadice. Yes, I did see. We're not passing through Avignon. Uh, Avignon. Avignon. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, right. Actually, did I? No, that's fine. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Pronunciation is right, Charadice. Yes, I think it is too, but it's just that I'm not used to pronouncing French, well, friends, French words that aren't in the English or German languages. XD. <laughs> right, so when we get up to 300, I'll give you another flyby. There we go. 
Ooh, actually the bridge would be nice. So just kind of like this. <laughs> uh, one thing I need to see what the <clears throat> okay, the speed limits uh, stay, uh, stay the same. <laughs> Emergency exit points to window. Yeah. <laughs> There we go, evacuation Dur Duren Durens Duren Durgens Durgens Not sure to pronounce that. Probably emergency. Evacuation of the emergency, if there's an emergency. Um Yule Speed! No, I've got cruise control on. Uh, sounds like a time machine. <laughs> it does. Yeah, you're right. So what do you think of the lovely French countryside? Durgy? Oh, that might be right. Dur... But there is Durgy... What about this bit? Durgines? Durgy? Durgines? I don't know. Although, at one point in this route, the cruise control does uh, uh, does make you speed a little bit because it's going downhill so fast that you it does it it just doesn't catch up qu quite quick enough. Du genes, du urgens. Um, yes, I think that's it. Hmm. Emergency, yes. I thought it meant that. Probably an important word to know. You're right. Thank you, sweetheart. Yes. The American Acela train also has cruise control, by the way. Also, this has uh, three different speeds for the pentagraph. This is speed number one. This is speed number two. There we go. And this is speed number three. Uh, it would be more like swiftly or something. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Acela? Yes, the Acela train. The American Acela train. The high speed train has cruise control. Uh, Amtrak Acela. Yes. Ah, on the NEC, I suppose. <coughs> um, yes. I do actually have the uh, Acela train. It's quite fun to drive. But it gets nowhere near as fast as this one does. And down here you can see the speed limit is going to go up to 320 kilometers per hour. <coughs> the, sh the little bit of shaking really helps to sell the speed. Because it's just a little bit of shaking, it's not the thing that trains would normally do. I've got it too, same with the GG1, uh, with GG1, yes. There we go, 320. And up to 320, set the cruise control. You can hear the oscillations in the tracks. That's nice. Be right back. Okay, sure. Sometimes the terrain doesn't load 
uh, or doesn't go away for these tunnels, like it did just there. <coughs> Which is slightly uh, concerning, but it seems to be fine. <laughs> okay, there we go. We're at 3.20. Oh, let's watch it go over the bridge. Okay, let's watch it go uh, out of the tunnel. That'll be nice. Oh, this is such a good shot. Just look at it. Okay, still got the same speed limit. That's good. All right, Shadis. Also, I think you missed my message above Swidder, swiftly or something. I said I think it's pronounced Dorgense. No, I didn't. I just, um, I did read it. I just didn't read it out loud. Um, but we'll miss the tunnel. Oh, well, you saw it go out of the tunnel. <laughs> One thing that's a bit strange about Train Sim is that if the headlights are on, they illuminate even during the day. So, for example, this is when the headlights are off. This is when they're on. You can see the difference. That should not be this visible during the day. Um, he just acknowledged it, but didn't press the AWS button. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Even though there is none actually... <laughs> nice comparison. <laughs> yeah, it is. Nice comparison. This is the fastest we'll go on this route. But the train itself can go faster. Bal. Hello, Mr. W, and Bal to you too. Baloof. Baloof? Oh, where? Back. Oof. <laughs> uh, ah, yes. So this is the fastest the train will go on this route, but it can actually go faster. I want to get a camera. <laughs> Maybe there's a better camera. I mean, to really understand how fast this train is going, if you look at it from the side, you can appreciate it much more, I believe. Still got the same speed limit, that's fine. Um, oof, of tiredness. <laughs> yeah, sorry, might not talk much. No, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. So... Avignon is about 30 kilometers away. Looks so much faster from the side when the camera is following it. Yes, you're right. Because the thing is, you get used to driving at these high speeds that when you have to slow down for some things, it just feels so slow, even when you're driving at like 100 kilometers an hour, it still feels so painfully slow. Also, looking at it from the rear also makes it look like it's going quite fast. I know! <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Especially in racing games, which I have a few of. Yeah, but in this as well, because in this train, You've got such a narrow field of, uh, such a narrow window in front, which means that essentially your field of view is uh, lowered because you can't see to the side all of the scenery whooshing past very fast. You only see the front bit where it's moving relatively slowly, which means that in this train it feels like you're going slower than you actually are if you look out the front. 
but if you're in the passenger view and you look out the window, then you can see how fast you're actually going. I mean, that looks quite fast, doesn't it? If you look out the window here. Or over there. Right. <clears throat> um, you can't really experience the speed and power in a simulation game, I, guess, I think. Yeah, that is true. Unless maybe with VR. Pretty sure if you drove that fast in a game like ATS, it wouldn't feel painfully slow anymore. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. Or on a narrow gauge route in this. Um, until you are driving or being driven in the train. Yes, that is true. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Train passing. That's nice. Um, yeah, it does. Also, that lamp looks like a mushroom. Yes, it does. Yes. Let me just quick save. Sure, has ever played or heard of Subnautica? I've heard of it, yes. Um, I know quite a bit about how it works. Like the, from the, both from the gameplay perspective and from the actual behind the scenes stuff, but I've never actually played it. For me, it's only the latter. It's also made with Unity 3D, right? Yes, as far as I know. Would you consider playing it? Um, maybe, because I know it has a uh, creative mode or mode where you can turn off thirst and hunger and that sort of stuff. So, maybe. Would you consider playing it, Mr. W? <laughs> I've watched uh, If You Could Talk in Subnautica, and A, it looks really good, and B, it was so funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, speed limit's going to go down, probably to something like uh, 2.30, if I had to guess. So I'm just going to reduce the... or maybe 300. I'm actually going to reduce the cruise control to... well, let's do... To 250, we'll see what it'll um, go down to. Oh, 270, oh, well, that's that's great. So 50, 60, 50, 60, 70. Set the cruise control to the new speed limit, and there we go. Because um, I don't think violence plays a big part in it at all. A big part at all. Interesting. Yes! <laughs> nice. Did the Reaper Leviathan talk to you? Don't have a PS4 though. Uh, you can get it for uh, Windows as well doesn't have to be console. Oh, and it's going to go down again, apparently. Which will probably mean like 170, something like that. So I'm just going to slow down a bit more. Me neither. Don't have any consoles. It's also on Steam. Oh, up to 300, but it's going to go down again soon. So I'm going to leave it at 270. Um, it's also on Steam. No, but the guy was starting to become... Okay, 270 it is, probably. Um, but this guy was sounding a bit mad, and having multiple personalities. Such a coward, a pirate, and a fighter. Such as a coward and a pirate. <laughs> Interesting. Laptop probably won't take it. Probably not. Alright, Charis, do you think it would? Mm, probably not. Uh, but I'm not sure. You can compare the minimum system requirements on Steam with the ones you have. Oh, and 220. Uh, 210, 220. I guess I'm going... Mm, actually, we should be fine. Uh, yes, there we go. Um, yeah, you can uh, compare the settings. Um, not settings, uh... 
Oh, 170. Oh, interesting. So 150, 60, 70. By the next signal. Uh, probably going to use the uh, air brakes a little bit. Just to slow down that little bit more. 90, 80. And release the air brakes. And make it go. Oh, 160. Oh, interesting. There we go. Slow down to 160. Oh, right, because we're there in three kilometers. 130. Um, yep, yeah, there we go. And believe me, three kilometers goes by just like that. I believe we're going to go down to 80 soon. So I'm actually already going to prepare for that. I'll read the chat once we're once we've stopped. And besides, we're about two minutes early anyways, so that's good. And yes, 80, as I th just as I thought. Now, I need to be slowing down anyways, because... Well, because the station is coming up soon. I'll just disable cruise control. And you can see how slowly we're moving now that we're going 80, or well, 70, really. The station's cut just coming up on the left. Don't worry, I'll stop this time. You won't have to jump on. <laughs> And the next signal is red, a uh, danger aspect, which is indicated by the three red boxes. Here we go, this is Avenir. Apply brakes, and hold. Now it doesn't look like it's going that fast like this, but like this, it's still going quite fast, you can see. But like this, you're almost stopping. And open the doors. Yes, so this station, as you can see, Pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Uh, there are some buildings around, but yeah. <laughs> right. <clears throat> I'll just leave the camera like this for now, and then I'll continue to read chat. Uh, <clears throat> maybe if you turn da the settings down, maybe. How much would it cost, and what kind of stuff would I have to give Steam to do it? Ah, uh, well, it says on the store page how much it will cost, and in terms of what you need to give Steam, well, to create an well, you need to create an account first, and then you also need to give your bank information, uh, because Steam only supports uh, digital transactions. You can't pay with cash. <laughs> um. There we go. A uh, great run drive. The passengers have fully alighted now that we've reached Avignon TGV. Let's review f your performance. I'll leave it like this for just for a few more moments. And until I've read chat, basically. Um, water effects, none, and stuff like that. Mm. It's below the game's description. Yes. There is a system requirement section. Jump on. <laughs> Says Windows Vista. Uh, my laptop notes say say my one can take Windows W seven, uh, eight point one and ten. 
oh, well, that's just the operating system version. The actual system requirements on Steam are things like your graphics card, how much memory you should have, um, how much storage it will take, things like that. Which Also, which DirectX version you need. It should probably be fine, then, I think. <clears throat> oh, or ooh, why are there three red boxes? Two to the right, two to the right, not in the center. Because the different um, areas have set uh, symbols, I think. Um, would I have to create a Steam account? Uh, yes. <clears throat> to get via Steam, yeah. But creating a Steam account is free. So creating the account is free, but actually paying for the thing is not free, obviously. Um, oh, imagine that, if they also accepted cash, you'd have to mail them coins, and once they've arrived, they'll enable that game on your account. <laughs> ah, crowd, version 11. Well, you mean DirectX version 11? Because you can update, I believe. You can update DirectX. Uh, it could still work. <laughs> Maybe. Right, so. Well, we've got eight more minutes. Oh, I, oh, I didn't mean to skip that already. <clears throat> but I didn't get any points, um, uh, any point reduction penalties, that's what I'm looking for, I didn't get any penalties, so we should be, should be fine. Um, but I don't really want to pay £20 for it not to work. DirectX, yeah. Uh, there is actually a, I believe it is a, either two day or two week return policy with Steam. You'd need to look it up, but there is... If you, I think it's something like two weeks, if you have played it less than two hours, then you can get your money back. Um, but you'd, I, you would have to look at exactly how that, uh, what the rules are for that, so. Right, so for the next seven minutes, I know it's not really going to be that much time, however, I would like to try something. Something interesting. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Well, if I'm going to spend the entire time looking at Sesh... No, well... <sighs> Probably no point in starting anything new, really, is there? I will guess I'll just read chat. No, I, yeah, I, I'll quit this now, and we'll have a couple more minutes for Rollercoaster Tycoon. And I'll read the chat, and then I'll restart the stream under the new title. So I'll quickly read chat. Um, uh, I do get that, Ms. W, but if you did pay for it, you'll have it in your Steam account for good. So if you'd someday have a more powerful computer, you'd still have the game in your account. Yes, that is true, Sheridice. I vote, all right, vote Chorus Gravity Train. No, I'd rather read chat and um, have enough time for Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, oh, okay. Please, Jared Eyes. No, I'll probably do it at some point in the future. All right, good. Now, I'm going to end the stream, change the title, and then start it up again for Roller Coaster Tycoon. So, don't go anywhere, please. And by the way, I can use the offline screen. There we go. So I'm just going to leave it here for a few seconds, and then I'll um, end the stream.